Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. E rauranga tērā mā, tēnā koutou. E nā iwe, e hui hui nei, o tēnā wā. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Um, it's a huge privilege to be here tonight, and when I'm given those sorts of introductions, particularly the one about you know, being working for the public sector for 30 years, I like to tell people I started at the age of 13. Um, um, but um, looking out at this audience tonight, I just want to start off by saying what a huge pleasure it is to be here. Um, my huge congratulations to all the finalists. I've read up on the... the, the um, the notes on, on all of the different um, projects that have gone towards these awards, and that's just simply stunning. Um, so it is a real privilege for me to have the opportunity to speak to you tonight, and I want to thank Don for that. Um, I was reflecting earlier than tonight talking to Victoria about um, what's in a name. And I want to actually think a little bit more than that and actually talk about what's in a purpose. Um, because for Statistics New Zealand, that has been critically important for us. Um, there's a, a, a quote um, that I think about quite regularly from Jack Deloza, which says, when we find a purpose that's bigger than ourselves, we become more powerful in our ability to create. Uh, and when I think about open source, I think about that quote, and that's something that has actually been important for us at Statistics New Zealand. Um, we've looked at our vision and what we think that we can tr contribute to New Zealand as a whole. And uh, we've developed a new uh, strategic direction and vision, and that vision is about unleashing the power of data to change lives. And what that's done for us is it's, it's, said, it's said to us, um, uh, we are not about statistics. Statistics is one way that we add value to data. We're actually about unleashing the power of that data. And not for its own sake, but in order to change lives, in order to improve the lives of New Zealanders. And there are many ways that you can do that, um, but for us, um, we're focused on the fact that you're only going to be able to achieve that by partnering and by working with others. So not only did we set ourselves a, um, a new vision, uh, being about um, unleashing the power of data, we looked at our purpose, which is now about empowering decisions through adding value to New Zealand's most important data. But we also said we need to challenge ourselves to get out there. So we set ourselves some measurable targets about doubling the value of the data that we hold and trust for New Zealand um, by 2018 and by helping to um, uh, achieve a, uh, 10 times the value of, that, of the data that New Zealand holds by 2030. Now, those are the sorts of targets that you simply cannot achieve by yourself. We believe that the data that we hold, the data that the government holds, the data that others hold, is exponentially more powerful in the hands of people like yourselves working for communities, um, and that we need to get it out there. So the challenge to ourselves is how do we do that? Um, in terms of Statistics New Zealand, um, people often think about a statistical agency as an agency that tells you what you can't do with data as opposed to what you can do with data. We're turning that completely around. Um, so uh, we have developed an approach which is to say that our data needs to be open by default. We will do everything we can to enable safe access to, the, to information to create value for all New Zealand. Um, and we're doing this by design. So. Um, one of the challenges that Victoria, who's sitting at my table um, with me tonight, uh, gave to us a while ago now was that the fact that our data, um, which we said was open, wasn't truly machine readable. So we've set ourselves a, a target of making that data machine readable. Um, and. Uh, and the, the data that we currently have sitting out there, which is, is open, 
Um, so we're doing we're doing that. We've we've developed a, an API, um, uh, which is currently on our innovation website, um, and with some data there that we've put to test it. Um, and what absolutely delights me is that um, that. Uh, the data has already been taken up by a number of users. We've got about 40 at the moment. Um, uh, uh, some have already taken it and developed R packages to enable others to basically be able to download that data, and we're seeing all sorts of things being done with it. So um, go to our innovation website and test the hell out of it. That's what it's there for. Um, but we're also saying that we, uh, we want to be open in so many other ways. We want to ensure that we're being open about the quality of the data. Um, we want to put the methodology out there for people to see. Processes, we want to share our code, um, and, and we want to do this in ways that are truly open. Um, one thing that we have been really clear about, however, as I said to start off with, is that for us, open data is safe data. Um, so we, we are interested in privacy, we are interested in confidentiality. If the data can't be made openly available um, because of those reasons, we'll see if it can be shared with some restrictions. Um, some data will need to remain closed, but we'll make sure that in respecting genuine privacy and confidentiality, we are remaining caught, um, we, we are focusing on that open by default um, aim. We also have uh, focused on making sure that we are using um, open source data. So we have developed a new IT strategy, um, uh, and uh, it has as part of its, um, its core um, a focus on open source. And I look around this room and we're already partnering with a number of, number of you. So, um, Without wanting to leave anyone out, <laughs> I will say we've, um, we've lose, used Lumio for our census consultation on our, uh, the content of the census, was, which was uh, a first for the world. Um, we've used uh, Silverstripe as, as a partner for us in online surveys. Um, uh, the uh, Pentaho community version we're using for the census and also for our enterprise processing layer. Um, uh, very soon you'll be seeing us launching on our innovation website um, uh, new household flows and balance sheets that help us understand what's going on in the economy. And uh, we're using uh, Community Denodo for that. Um, we are avid users of R and Python. Um, and uh, we are increasingly focusing on releasing things on GitHub. Um, in that particular vein, uh, one of the things that we are really focused on is making sure that not only um, the data, uh, but the research and the underlying code is available to people. Um, uh, as I said at the Open Source Open Society Conference, um, we have a layer of data which is already, we, we classify as being open, but we're making it more open in terms of, of being, being machine readable. But sitting below the waterline, we actually have a collection of data which um, is uh, protected because it, is, um, uh, it contains uh, uh, confidential information and we on anonymise it and we give access to it in a variety of different ways. Um, chief amongst these is the integrated data infrastructure, which is um, essentially a longitudinal linked data set um, of person-centred data, um, which is anonymised. Um, it takes data from government departments, surveys, and from the 2013 census. It uh, links it and then it completely anonymises it and provides, um, and access is provided to it in a, um, through a variety of different uh, safety mechanisms that look at the, the, the researchers, the type of data that's being accessed, the types of projects to keep it safe. One of the things that we are focused on there is the reproducibility of the research. Uh, so we are looking at this point 
to ensure that if somebody accesses that research, to look at life, the impact of life experience on life outcomes, that not only the research is published, but also the underlying data and the code. And we've started to see that happen. We've, um, uh, the Treasury have put some of these on GitHub. Uh, so from my perspective, um, for an agency like ourselves, um, the issue is where to from here? And I can tell you that, um, that with statistics being the original data science, we are focused on how we can take uh, data which is real time and turn it into uh, usable insights for New Zealand and for the economy. And again, that's something that we can only do in partnership with others. Um, as I said to Victoria um, earlier this evening, one of the things I'm really proud of is that as an organisation, uh, we are constantly looking at new ways of making sense of data. New ways and old ways. So um, one of those is the 250-year-old uh, Bayesian model, which I can tell you we've cracked. So. Um, uh, a team of, of people in my organisation have developed a methodology that allows for uh, small area estimation um, uh, and forecasting and estimating of population down to low levels using Bayesian models. And we've taken that methodology, the beta form of it, and the code associated with it and put it on GitHub for people to look at and test. And that is, from my perspective, um, the future of data in New Zealand. It is about taking the open source community, which is represented here, and actually using the collective skills and experience to crack complex and difficult problems for New Zealand. So I just wanted to, to leave you with um, those thoughts. From my perspective, um, Open source is about solving complex and difficult problems. It is about leveraging the collective experience of people in this room. It is about not, not accepting um, uh, that a problem can't be solved. It is about pushing the thresholds and it's about finding new ways. Um, and from our perspective at Statistics New Zealand, we look to be part of this world through partnering across the public sector and across um, the private sector. We see ourselves as being a platform for innovation. We want to get our data out there so that you and others can turn it into innovative new products and services that help us solve some of New Zealand's biggest problems. So, nā reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou